Welcome to SkyCiv. This is going to be a quick onboarding video about the SkyCiv Foundation Design Module. The SkyCiv Foundation Design Module is primarily used as a standalone module to analyze a few different foundation types, including isolated footings, com combined footings, and concrete piles. After launching the model, pick the code version you want to design the footing in accordance with. Similar to other modules, document project and client information and notes in this details tab. The foundations tab is where you can view, add, and delete foundations from your overall design. For this video, we will be going with an isolated footing. The workflow and user interface is nearly identical when designing piles and combined footings except for a few different settings or inputs. The input tab is the where the majority of the work is going to be done. The input categories are on the left, graphics are in the middle, and input fields are on the right. Moving from top to bottom is a recommended workflow. Notice in the graphical space how there is one view that shows a foundation diagram including the forces, dimensions, and labels, and then there's another uh, view that shows the analysis after your analysis is run. So this will show the analytical results. To toggle anything shown in the diagram view, go to the filter button here and turn off or on anything that you want to view or not view. Moving to the first inputs, you'll see that you can change the foundation length, length, width, and thickness. Continuing on, you can do this, you can uh, change the same dimensions for the column, so the length, width, height, as well as some other um, settings here as well. Uh, you can adjust the soil properties such as thickness, bearing capacity, or even add a groundwater table and identify that. Most of the material properties uh, will be defaulted to custom values used in the governing code, but they uh, can also be adjusted here as well. And note that um, a lot of these inputs may be different depending on, uh, in terms of terminology, may, may be different uh, depending on what, type, what code you're working in. So the loads tab is the only tab or input tab that will generate a pop-up where you can add loads to your structure. You can add as many as you need. You can also add custom loads, and these are uh, distributed between factored and service loads. So there's only two load cases here, and you can identify um, whether or not they are affected by earthquakes or not. And again, these options might differ depending on what code you're using. But we'll add a couple loads here. You'll see that the, the, our axial load changed here. This will be the factored load used in analysis. One of the last input fields is reinforcement. You can specify the rebar size and spacing in the foundation's X and Z directions, as well as the column reinforcement. Lastly, change it in the various design factors to be as aggressive or conservative with you as you want with your design. So similar as before, the three different toggles are up here using these three buttons, and the three different uh, tabs you'll be looking at are resistance factors, development, developmental length factors, and then just various other factors including uh, concrete cover and then factors of safety. So when you're ready to solve and you're satisfied with the inputs, go to the check design button and click on it. And just like in other modules, it's very consistent. The results will be presented clear, clearly as these unity ratios and are separated by each individual limit state. So you can see that for each limit state it has its own column and then each uh, column has its own unity ratio. So uh, the status will basically tell you pass or fail whether or not any of these limit states um, are over one or under one. So right now they're all under one, so they all will uh, pass. If you want to view the in-depth calculations for your foundation design, in addition to the calculations of these limit states, you can click on the small report button here. And then here is a detailed hand calculation report with all the information that you'll need to um, interpret your results. 
And just like other uh, modules, you can export this as a PDF or HTML and then save it to your, uh, your local machine. Notice how there's code references on the left, uh, hand calculations on the right, and then the unity ratios and uh, final checks are on the, uh, on the right here. That will wrap up this quick onboarding video of the Foundation Design Module as a part of the SkySiv software suite. Make sure to check out our software documentation for more in-depth information.